Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, today we're having a look at uh, a wild olive bonsai that I got as a gift a while back. It's planted in this, uh, this dark green pot, but for the last while it's not been doing well. It's not giving any new growth. We're in springtime now. Um, we haven't had a lot of good weather. Spring here in Mossel Bay usually starts late. We have a, a pretty long mild winter, although we've just come out of a cold spell uh, which has really been cold. We've had some snow on the mountains, but for the last few days we've had some good weather and we've got good reports for the rest of the week. So I decided it's time to, to get this uh, wild olive sorted out. I don't think that the soil in this pot is doing it much good. It's got no new growth. It had some, uh, some white fly pest problems. But that seems to be all sorted. Uh, use uh, some bicarbonate and uh, dishwashing liquid in a very mild mix. One drop of the dishwashing li liquid, a teaspoon of bicarb soda. And you shake that up well and you spray it on uh, two, three times a week. For the first day or two I, I applied it twice a day. And that seems to be sorted. Now we've got some fine growth coming out. I'll show that to you in a second. We've got some here, a little bit over there, some new growth here. There's some new branches coming out, but the structure of the whole tree is all wrong. And uh, we're hopefully going to get that sorted in, in the future. We've got some dead wood here, which I need to decide if I want to keep it, if I want to let it stay. But at the moment, we've got branches cross it, crossing over all over. The branches that are crossing will need to be removed, and that should... Uh, get some vigor back to all the other places that it needs but yeah hoping we can get this sorted let's uh, come in a little bit closer and I'll show you the, the structure of the tree all right as you can see um, from this top view we have some branches that are coming out diagonally over there crossing this branch which is not really ideal. I'll have to decide which one I want to take away, which I want to keep. But you'll see a lot of yellowing leaves. Leaves are not very healthy. Um, that's after the white fly as well. And I don't think, like I said, the soil is doing it any good. If you look at the back here, a lot of leggy branches. There's no ramification. There's no structure. There's really not much going on. So we're going to have a look if we can get this sorted. Um, we've got some leaves growing inwards towards the, the main trunk over there, which we definitely won't be keeping. We've got some leaves growing down, a new, some new growth, this one coming across the trunk again, which will also take off. And uh, the rest we'll just be cutting back to, to some of the nodes. If you have a look here, there's some nodes here that we'll be cutting these back to, to see if we can get some growth from there again. Um, I think this deadwood will probably have to go, there's not much feature in it that we'll be using. Um, this branch seems to have, have died off a bit as well, not exactly sure what has happened there. But uh, we'll see, we'll give it some time, we're not going to take, just take it off. As you can see these, the, the leaves on the, on the olive, you've got two coming out this way, then the other two up and down. This one should have been a left and right again, but this leaf is off, this one is up and down, and this one will, is a left and right. I'll be cutting this one back to there to see if we can get some ramification. Um, yeah, I might even I might even remove this one completely. It all depends. We'll see. We'll see what happens there. All right, let's get going. I've got some decorative rock that's in here that I got with it. Don't like it too much, um, but it's one of those things. I'm just taking out 
what I've got here is a just an old fish knife that I actually use to to get the soil loose from the sides of the pot. Um, it works pretty well. It's nice and nice and thin. The soil is, from what I can gather and feel, very very compact. Um, I don't think there's much air coming through to the roots and I noticed that when I started watering the other day that it's very 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 compact. The water tends to pool at the top and takes a while to drain um, and it stays wet a long time. What I'm also going to be doing is uh, trying to get the tree a little deeper when I'm repotting it. Um, the wild olives don't necessarily like too much of their roots sticking out. So these nice surface roots that we have here we'll be, we'll be keeping and uh, we're going to have a look. If I have a look at this, there's some good roots growing out and coming out. So we'll see what we can do. But let's first get it out of the pot. Oh boy. Yeah, just as I thought. Um, if you want to have a look there, you can see it's all soil. There's no grit. With bonsai, you obviously want something that drains very well. And... Uh, doesn't retain too much water. So let's just see if we can start here. As always, starting from the, the center out using the, the chopsticks just to start breaking up the soil. I think it's pretty easy to just get this going. There's some good roots, but I don't think the I don't think the soil is, is quite what it should be. It's not ideal, so we're going to see if we can bring this little olive tree some relief, give it some new life, and see what we can do. Very, very compact. I've got a another tree that's in exactly the same type of soil, but I don't have enough soil to to repot both today. And I felt this one is in greater need. The the thorn tree that's in the same kind of soil has uh, has started budding. Um, so we'll see. Just turn around and get to the bottom. You'll see it's very, it's holding a lot of moisture. There's a lot of moisture being held back by the, the soil as it is here. Um, the soil at the top was dry. The soil at the top just now of the pot was completely dry. Uh, which could lead to problems because once you see the topsoil is dry and you check the bottom you usually just give it a scratch and see how far down it, dry it is and you then tend to water again thinking that the tree needs water when in actual fact it doesn't um, there's still enough moisture and that could lead to overwatering, which leads to root rot which leads to a dead tree As you can see the, the roots is quite a bit of a tangled mess. This is this root is dead. There's no life in there, so we're gonna cut that back um, and see if we can get it to root. It's not completely dead, just the tip. Um, I, I got the tree as a gift from some, some friends and uh, they didn't have time to really 
look after them much anymore. So there wasn't much care given to the, the trees, not like they should have been. They, they were pruned roughly um, and from there they've got the problem with the structure. There is a, a nice spread to the root base, it's not too bad. But it's not ideal, I've got some, some roots going from one into two, two into four. But uh, we, need to, we need to get these roots sorted out. They, they're a bit of an untidy mess. Not getting the, we have some long roots that we'll cut back. We'll give them a, a quick rinse and a wash just to keep them moist. And uh, then we'll get cracking with that. We've got the pot nice and clean for repotting. Um, let's have a look. Obviously with the roots we need to identify immediate problems and have a look. We've got some, some roots growing back and around where they've come to the edge of the pot. Um, we need to untangle these a bit. And then of course, like I mentioned, we've got these dead roots. So that will, that will go first. Got some roots growing off here. Make a cut. It's dead. There we go. Got a root growing down from that one, which is pretty long. We'll trim them just now when we get to the main repotting. Um, then we've got this root coming down here, which has got some roots at the top here, which I'm just going to remove. I don't want them growing up and out of the soil. Some more growing in an upward direction. Trim that off. As I said, there's there's quite a bit of roots. We've got two empty spaces here, empty spots. There's not much you can do about that to to get roots coming out that way again. Um, at the bottom here, we'll trim this stump back a bit where it was cut off originally. There's some. Uh, It's not too bad there. I might get some. Just clean it out. You can see all these roots growing in all sorts of squiggly directions. Um, trim that one off. These are obviously way too long. We'll just trim them off there for now. In fact, I'm just going to trim them back completely. roots are going, what they have in mind, because as you see it, it almost looks as if it was watered to the point where the ends of the pot, where it was in the pot like that, all the water was on this side and on this side. We've got a lot of healthy root there, a lot of healthy root here and over here, you've basically got nothing. I think what we're going to do is put away again. These roots that are growing out in such a funny direction, we're just gonna 
the muff. You can use them. This one growing out to the side here as well. It's preventing me combing out the roots in a radial pattern. These roots are all growing across. Just get that sorted. This little guy is too long as well. This side is not, we've got some fine roots growing here, which I'm going to keep. Obviously want them growing out to this side. On this side we've got some roots coming out from the growing out from the other roots, finer roots, which we'll also have a look. There's one root at the bottom here, which is crossing all the others again and is aiming to grow down. So I think we're going to remove that as well. There we go. roots are getting tangled over here. It's a bit of a mess. But I don't want to force it too much. Um, I think what I'm just going to do is these little ones with the dead ends we we'll take them off. There's some more dead ends. I'm seeing a lot of roots that look like they have actually started dying off. So I'm, I'm glad we decided to do the repot when we did. I might have lost the tree. Um, you'll see over here. This is all dead root that has no use. So we'll cut that off there. And you'll notice that I give it a, a flat cut downwards to get new roots forming and growing out from the edge from the tip and down into the, the new soil. So that we've got some, uh, some healthy root growth that we can look forward to. The nasty root growing downwards. Okay, I don't think I'm going to cut off, cut off much more. Um, this is basically just to, to get it sized again for the pot, which looks good. I think we can, uh, we can uh, trim off some of these edges. We're going to cut some drainage screen now. If you haven't seen one of my other movies or videos, you'll see I just use normal fly screen uh, for the mesh. Bonsai does not have to be an expensive hobby. These scissors I use are surgical scissors. Buy them at the chemist. They're cheap. In South African Rand, it's 30 Rand. In the US, it's less than $3. That it, uh, that it will set you back. So, what I've got to, to use further is some. Uh, some grit and some soil mix which is going to give it coarse but what I'm going to mix it with is a bit of laika as well um, more of an experiment than anything else I'm going to add some of this to 
just keep those drainage screens in place. Um, still pretty new to the to the bonsai scene, and uh, enjoying the learning process and getting feedback from you guys. So if there is something you see that I'm doing that's not right, feel free to let me know and it's always good learning from the bonsai community, sharing, learning. Uh, let's see, if we keep it there, a little lower, I think we can Round it up a bit more. The soil that I'm using now obviously has the grit, but it also has some organic matter in for, uh, for feeding. Okay, I've got my my Leica mix, which we are going to add. And that was my last bag. We will have to do some shopping in the week to come. Get this piece of excess beet. And once again just work in the laker into the into the root. watching, standing behind the camera. <laughs> 